Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeet.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast and I'm back with another hardware unboxing and today I'm taking a look at a very special product I just picked up. It's the Sapphire Edge Mini PC Model HD4 and we're going to do an unboxing of this to take a look at it. It's uh, meant to be a small, obviously, mini PC that can sit either conveniently next to a monitor or as I'm going to use it next to my TV as my main uh, high definition capture PC. And so I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the box before we crack it open and see what's inside. This is the latest model from Sapphire in their uh, Edge Mini PC series and it is uh, obviously like I said the HD4 model. Let's start right here. Uh, what's bundled inside you get an HDMI cable as well as the HDMI to DVI adapter. So it's nice to have those cables actually inside so you can go ahead and hook it right away up to either your high definition model or monitor using DVI or your high definition TV using HDMI. Sapphire logo, logo one of my favorite companies. Uh, really awesome company for graphics cards and obviously PCs and some different uh, things like that as well. The Edge series, it's powered by a dual core Intel Celeron processor and the Edge HD4 features include the 4GB of DDR3 RAM, a 2.5 uh, inch SATA hard drive, wireless and uh, hardwired LAN built in, USB 3.0, HDMI and then a full 1080 HD output. That's pretty cool. On the side we see the system specifications. We have the Intel Celeron uh, processor 847 which is a dual core. We have Intel HD graphics um, built in Ethernet as well as wireless um, all the way up to N and obviously BNG as well. We have a VGA output, a LAN input, a HDMI output, USB 3.0 port, uh, one of those, and then three USB 2.0 ports, a microphone in and a line out, and that includes a 2.5 inch SATA 320 gigabyte hard drive, so pretty nice size hard drive in this. Uh, no keyboard and mouse and no operating system included. And so that's going to be a big thing. Uh, this PC will retail around $400. You can pick it up in the link below at the top of the description, but also remember the cost of an operating system. But if you want to get into something like Ubuntu or some of the free DOSBox software, this would be a great type of PC where you can put some free operating system onto. Um, I'm personally going to put Windows 7 on mine. And there on the back you can see an image and we'll actually get to see the device when we take it out of the box showing that it's no bigger than a hand. Um, you get some uh, insight on what it looks like on with the stand here on the back and then also a paragraph describing why it's the world's smallest PC. So pretty cool. That's the uh, Sapphire Edge Mini PC HD4 and let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box. Alright, so I have the main exterior box open and I'm going to go ahead and pop the cover off here. Right on top is the actual PC. So we're going to take that out of uh, plastic. Wow, that's really awesome. We'll get to that in just a second. I'm going to set that down gently and go ahead and move the package aside. Uh, here we have some manuals, um, a CD. registration card so all that normal stuff there here is the uh, DVI HDMI to DVI adapter really awesome they included that you can tell it's a high quality cable just by the feel here we have the included HDMI cable this looks like it's the stand for the PC then we have the power cable and the rest of the power cable. And that's pretty much everything that's in the box. So let's go ahead and uh, move everything aside, take a closer look at the hardware. All right, well here we are with the final part of the unboxing of the Sapphire Edge Mini PC HD4. And I don't know how else to explain this uh, actual device except to say that it looks absolutely amazing. I really like the design of it. 
um, everything from this stand when I took it out of the box all you simply do is screw in uh, by hand and then with a small screwdriver this stand and so it's really sturdy it's really on there and the stand is just amazing the finish is unbelievable I don't even know what to compare it to but um, it, it almost feels like uh, the outside of some of those new external hard drives it's like that almost like that hard rubber matte finish and it just feels and looks really amazing uh, designed really well it is a media streaming PC type of deal so it's not meant to have like a CD-ROM drive or anything like that although you can hook one up through USB it's got the heated vents uh, up here not really heated but I guess the airflow vents up there um, more along the bottom obviously I can't attest to how cool it is until I do the full review um, really awesome sapphire logo there we have looks like a power button and another button there which I haven't read about yet so I'm not really sure what that does on the front of the device it's really sleek so it's gonna look really cool sitting next to your TV I believe yeah we pop open there for the USB 3.0 and then one of the three uh, USB 2.0 slots so that's really cool there um, and on the back obviously we have the VGA port, the HDMI port, the other two USB 2.0 slots, the wired LAN, um, we have the DC in power, the line out for sound, line in for mic. So really cool looking device, I can't wait to review this. I'm actually going to be doing some videos on this over at the Hapal Gaming Zone, one of our partner channels. Um, showing how it actually works to record high definition gaming capture footage with the HD PVR2 so I'm excited about that I'm also going to be doing a full review on both this channel and the HD or the Hapog channel as well so make sure you check out more videos on this thanks so much for watching uh, check out the Sapphire Technology Club on Facebook and also um, give us a like favor and a subscribe thanks so much and have a great day